Why hello, I'm Chef Jack Bidra, and today I wanted to give you my honest review on Amazon's grocery delivery service, Amazon Fresh. It is something that I use personally and professionally, and it's really changed quite a few things for me, so I feel like I can give you some good insight into if it would benefit you. Once I am in the website or on the application, there are several different ways in which I can complete the task of actually ordering groceries. In the app here, it shows my past purchases where I could quickly add them to my cart, and it also break things down per category where I can find something if it's not necessarily on the top of my head. It's usually easiest just to enter the item that you want in the search bar and then many different items will come up. But Amazon has a really good way of suggesting products for you if you are picking things within a certain algorithm. You can, if you start working in the app or on the website, select a certain time in which you want your groceries to be delivered and then you can be guided through the process of scheduling a date and time for the items to arrive. So I can add items throughout the day, I can review my list, and I can finish shopping on my Amazon app, on my phone, right from the couch, and I don't even have to leave the house. So if you would rather use a web browser on a laptop or desktop to complete your grocery orders, the same information will be there in a larger format. Uh, anything that you add on the phone while you are mobile will show in your Amazon account on your web browser and vice versa. Hmm, out of milk. Amazon also has a shopping list attached to the app and the desktop website, and you can access that and add things to it if you have an Echo device in your home or on your phone. Hey Alexa, add 2% milk to my grocery list. So if I've already filled up my cart and I am ready to make my purchase, I can schedule my groceries to be delivered, let's say tomorrow, between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Just a few stipulations at the end process that you need to be aware of. If your cart total and your purchase total has not reached $50, uh, then Amazon is going to assess an additional fee to deliver your items of $9.99. Um, it's really not difficult to reach $50 when you consider the amount of products that they have because you can certainly stock up on something that wouldn't expire like paper products or cleaning products. Uh, they also add a $5 surcharge for tipping the driver. So your bags will arrive in these recyclable bags. They do a really good job of packaging the material and they do a really nice job of protecting your things so they don't get damaged. Um, this particular bag has all the dry goods that I purchased and things that don't need to be kept cold. For your cold items, they've done an interesting step in efficiency of packaging and the resources of their material by instead of including ice packs or dry ice or things like that that's wasteful they've started including frozen water bottles which is really great uh, so they are not only really efficient but also hey free water right mm -hmm. So I need to put the groceries away uh, but I just wanted to give you my honest review of Amazon Fresh. I'm a huge proponent for this service because I think the quality of the products is fantastic and it is a huge time saver for me personally and professionally. Um, Amazon does offer you a 30 day free trial for Amazon Fresh and I will include that link for them in the about section of this video where you can take advantage of it. So thank you for watching. If you like what you saw today, please check out some of my other videos for recipes and instructional videos on cooking. And you can subscribe to my channel right over here. Thanks.